Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So deciding where you can host your Discord bot can be a tricky challenge. There are quite a few options out there that you can choose. There's loads of different options and it can be overwhelming. So then, in this video I'm going to be guiding you through all of the options you have when deciding where to host your Discord bot. Just before we jump in, I just want to quickly say that a couple of you reached out to me and suggested that I created a Patreon. And after thinking about it for a little bit, I decided to do this. So if you'd like to support me, there's a link down in the description below. However, please, please do not feel obliged or feel pressured into doing it at all. You're supporting me more than enough by just watching these videos. But yeah, anyway, let's jump back in. So then, there are two types of places in where you can host your bot. You can either go down the self-hosted route or you can go down the like online route, if that makes sense. So, self-hosting. As the name suggests, you host your Discord bot yourself. So what does this mean? Well, maybe you run your Discord bot on a Raspberry Pi 24-7. Or maybe you run it on an old computer 24-7. Basically, you host it yourself. And what are these online hosting that I spoke about earlier? It's like where you sign up to another company's service which offers out like free servers or paid servers, which we'll get into a bit later in this video. And there are advantages for both the self-hosted and the online hosted ways of hosting your Discord bot. So what are the advantages of self-hosting? Well, then the main one is, is that you're totally in control. You own the server, you can control everything about it. There's also benefits in terms of, let's say, like privacy, as in you're not giving your data or money to an external company. It's all done through you, which is a massive benefit. And what are the advantages for online hosting, for hosting your Discord bot on online services? Well then, one of the main ones is, is that your Discord bot will always be online, like always 24-7, it will be up and running. Whereas there's a chance of like self-hosting, let's say, wherever you're hosting it, let's say you're hosting it in your house. Let's say you're hosting it on a Raspberry Pi and your house has a power cut. Well then, your Discord bot would then go down. However, you wouldn't have this problem if you were hosting it using an online service as that online service would have multiple servers all over the world which will always keep your Discord bot up and running. And as well as that, even if it doesn't have multiple servers all over the world, even if it just has one single server, they'll take into precautions to prevent a power cut or forever going down. So then, as you can see, there are advantages to both. So then, I'm now going to go through the options that you have for self-hosting and for online hosting. These will include like free and paid options. So it will better help you choose which one's the best for you. So I'm going to start off with free hosting and then go to paid hosting. I'm going to leave like the timestamps in the description and as well I'll set up the like YouTube chapter thing that you get in like the timeline at the bottom. So jump to a section that interests you the most. So let's say you know for certain that you want to do online hosting, jump to the bit where I talk about the free and the paid options for online hosting. Or let's or if you want to look into hosting it yourself, Yourself, then jump to that section in the bottom. So then, let's now jump into the self-hosting, the se all the self-hosting options that you have. So then, self-hosting. You don't really get an option of whether it's free or paid, because at the end of the day, self-hosting means that you host it on your own device. And to get that device, most likely you will have had to have paid for it. Or maybe you've given it as a gift or something, so technically it could be free. But you get what I'm saying anyway, that doesn't matter. So what are an example of like some devices in which you could host your Discord bot on? Well then let's say a Raspberry Pi or maybe an old computer. So maybe you've had an old computer that you use for like the past five years, but you recently got a new one. You could set it up so that, that your old computer that you had been using in the past runs your Discord bot completely 24-7. You could just plug it into power, start the code running, and then just leave it. Just plug it in, leave it, and put it in a corner, and never touch it again. And that will then continuously run your Discord bot. In terms of the Raspberry Pi option, well then you could potentially buy a Raspberry Pi, and put the code on there, and run it on there. 
basically the Raspberry Pi and the separate computer, the one I just mentioned about, are basically the same because a Raspberry Pi is just a miniature computer. I've In another video, I've spoken about exactly how to get your Discord bot up and running on a Raspberry Pi as well as a separate computer. So I'll leave a link in the description down below for that as well as a title card up here. So yeah, that's all I can really say about self-hosting. I've spoken about the advantages and I've spoken about the options that you have when it comes to self-hosting, as in like the devices and how you could set it up. So then, let's jump into the online hosting because this is where it can get a bit more confusing and difficult because there's now also the options for getting a free online service or paying for one. So yeah, let me explain about these two different options that you have and then I'll go into a bit of detail about which online services I'd recommend. So what's the difference in hosting your Discord bot on a free online service or a paid online service? Well then, with a free online service, you may not be getting all the features that you might get if you used a paid online service or you hosted it yourself via the self-hosting option that I spoke about earlier. So what I mean by this is, is that like the server that you get with the free option that your Discord bot would be running on may not be that powerful. So potentially it may not be able to run your Discord bot However, that's really unlikely because Discord bots don't require much power, much processing power at all. But something else that you might want to take into account is that with like the free service, you may not get full control. And what I mean by this is, is that you may not be able to install extra packages or Python packages that you might want to utilize with Discord bots. Like just for an example, in like part four or five of my Discord bot series that I'm doing here on YouTube, link in the description if you haven't heard about it, is that I guided you through installing a package called FFmpeg and this allows you to play audio files with your Discord bot. And there's a really high chance that if you're using a free online service, you won't have the ability to install FFmpeg. So your Discord bot would have limited restricted features if you see what I'm saying. However, if you went with the paid online option, you wouldn't have this problem of not being able to install the packages that you want. And this is because this paid online service, what it basically is, is, is that you're paying for a server. You're paying to be able to host your Discord bot on someone else's computer. That's like a very simplified version of what it is. And with this paid option, you get full control. So it's exactly like hosting it on like, yes, your own computer at home, but in the cloud, which is pretty cool. But there are some advantages over like doing it on via the paid online option rather than hosting it via yourself. So an example, let's say that on your Discord server, all of the members are spread out all over the world. Let's say you have some people in America, Italy, uh, Northern Ireland, and let's say you would, well, they're geographically, they're really far away from each other. These countries are really far apart. So the delay from the person in Japan using your Discord bot from Northern Ireland would be quite a long time, technically. But with the option of going with the paid, this allows you to um, distribute multiple servers all over the world which are running your Discord bot code. So wherever your members are in the world, wherever they are geographically the closest server to them, it would connect to. So the delay would be the shortest. Hope that makes sense. So I've spoken about the differences between free and paid. Now let me show you the best options for both categories, the best services to use for both categories. So let's jump in. We we'll start off with the free category. What best free services are there out there for you to host your Discord bot on? Well then, a very popular one is called REPL, REPL.IT. It allows you to host Discord bots. Basically, it just allows you to run your code on a server for free. And yeah, it's good. It does the basic functions. It's probably one of the best free options out there. However, there are some downsides like the installing packages. However, let's say you're just wanting to build a Discord bot to do basic features. So let's say, I don't know, uh, welcome a user when they join the server or, um, I don't know, a ban moderation sort of thing. Then REPL would be perfect for that because you can write the code, put it onto REPL 
And yeah, it'd be fine as in, I personally think that would be fine. However, if you're looking to do some more complicated things like playing audio, other advanced things, then REPL definitely wouldn't be the option for that because it just doesn't allow for that. So then, now on to the paid options. So basically, when paying for it, all you're basically wanting to pay out for is a basic Linux server. Any Linux server would really do its job. So just go into Google and type, I don't know, like best VPS server. And if you don't know what VPS means, it stands for virtual private server. And that would allow you to run your Discord bot. However, the ones that I recommend, the ones that I recommend you use are this. I recommend you use one from Amazon, Amazon's AWS. And this is called EC2. And basically what EC2 is, is what I've said before. It's just basically a online server. It's just basically your own server. That's, that's all it is. And you can run your Discord bot on it. You can run it with all of the different audio features and functions. But the one really good thing I like about, about Amazon's AWS EC2 server is that you get 12 months free. You can get 12 months free usage of this server when you sign up for AWS which is pretty cool. However, after those 12 months, you'll have to pay something like maybe a pound a month or something around that amount, as in it's not much at all. So I personally, personally think that if you're looking to make like a proper professional Discord bot, I'd recommend hosting it on an EC2 server on Amazon. Honestly, you can't get better than that. If you don't know how to set up an EC2 server and you really want to host a Discord bot on there, drop me a comment down below saying that you want this and I'll create a video on it. So yeah. So then, to wrap this up, what would I recommend you do? Well then, I'd recommend you use the 12 months free EC2 server that Amazon AWS gives you as it's just an utterly amazing deal. Basically, a free online server in the cloud for free for 12 months. You literally can't get any better than that. However, let's say you've already utilised that, you've already used it, or you have used it and it's been 12 months and you don't want to pay, you don't want to pay, then I recommend hosting it yourself on a Raspberry Pi or an old computer per se, as it, it just gives you full functionality and as well as that, it's just an affordable um, option. But yeah, that kind of now brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learned something and that I've been able to help you in deciding what's the best option to go for when hosting your Discord bot. If you've enjoyed it at all, please do smash the like button as it would really help it out in the YouTube algorithm. It pushed this video to more people who would potentially uh, like to see this. But yeah, also when you're down there, please do consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. But anyway, that's all for now and I'll catch you all in my next video. See ya!